Hey guys, um, I haven't done a video in a long time, it's been super busy, but I really wanted to do this quick video in response to um, Adam's, uh, I guess, traumatic experience on the Delta airline flight. Um, basically, Adam's a YouTuber who um, was speaking Arabic to his mum on the phone, um, probably saying goodbye, see you on the other side. Um, wanted to start singing Adele there but I restrained myself and um all of a sudden he's being kicked off the um the plane and he's recording it and there was an increase like widespread support for him which was really good to see I tried to use my platform to retweet and bring awareness to what was going on but at the same time what we was seeing was an increase in people especially people of color critiquing um what had happened and starting to put doubts into actually what happened, doubting his account of his race of the racist racism he he had account encountered. He's a YouTuber and he does pranks. So, so people were saying, oh, maybe he did a prank on the plane and it went wrong. Oh, maybe he was aggressive. Maybe he was rude. Just starting to. Oh, there was one person that um there was one person that did a tweet of another airline that he was on, and um, where he did a prank to, to pr try to do a prank um. Uh, at the airport um, where he was in a suitcase and he tried to get from one country to another and he it looked like he fibbed or whatever and there was this tweet that's gone now gone viral to show that he's a liar basically and whether or not he did a prank um he didn't do a prank I just think it's really really bad form particularly if people of color to criticize somebody's experience of racism you wasn't there I wasn't there so we can't say, oh, this is actually what happened and start putting our two pence into it. The first question we should be asking is, is he okay? And whether or not, so if he did, did a, if he, if Adam did do a prank and it went wrong, yeah, I wanted to, I want to know if a white person, a white man did the same, a white British man with a nice brown burgundy passport, yeah, if he did a prank on the plane, would he have been kicked off? We see notorious football football hooligans on planes being leery, being loud, being super drunk. Do we ever hear about them getting kicked off the plane? But what we do see is our light brown brothers and sisters humiliatingly removing contents from their suitcases at the airport because they're being uh, randomly searched. Um, I have the privilege um, to be able to travel quite a lot for my job and so my um, airport experiences has dramatically increased in the last um, two years and what I do see is um, more and more light brown brothers and sisters and even our black brothers with Islamic names shaking and getting really um, anxious as they're queuing up to border control. I see, I've seen women um, shoving their hijab scarf um, in their bags to not make it so obvious that they're not Muslims. I've seen people like calm their family down because they're having real anxiety. I've seen people stuck at border control asking so many, answering sorry, so many questions um, about what you're doing, what, who you'll see, who you're here with, who you're seeing, how long you're staying, how much is in your, how much is in your bank account, blah blah blah. What do you do for a living? So many questions, and yet I see our white counterparts going through like that. Um, and I just want to say something here, particularly about the people who were critiquing and who were uh, who were people of color. Why is it when somebody co who, um, sh bravely as well shares their racist or sexist um, experience, do we have to critique it and put it down? Why does it have to be per... One person I saw say that, oh, but I just want to make sure it was real racism because it will be, it'll be a disgrace to us if it isn't. Wh why is that? Why do we have to put that kind of high standard on our people and assume that they're going to lie? Why is, is it in, only in our DNA to lie and fabricate about, uh, about um, events and things that happened? Why do we assume that? And there's... What, the comments that I'm seeing about Adam is no different to the comments that I see about being, I see being made about women who bravely talk about their sexual assault, um, assault experiences or who, um, who um, try and report a rape and we get led by this terrible media into discussion about how she deserved it or she lured him or it was her fault. Or we've seen it actually in the US when we saw the, this, this rise in black boys being shot in the head, shot in the back for no damn reason and yet the media was saying, oh but 
linked to criminal behaviour or listened to this or did that or carried a gun or was a drug dealer. Does a drug dealer, de- does a d- drug dealer devalue my rights as a human? I totally understand this, and this is a separate debate, but right now we all have human rights, despite my gender, the colour of my skin, and, and my criminal record. We all have the same human rights. So why is it that when someone doesn't fall, when someone falls out of this and is the other, we now start doubting how honest they are and start doubting their stories. And we start linking, we start we start blaming them for their for their for their experiences and what and, and the abuse and the crime that they have faced. And I think it's enough. And I want to put a stop to it. I want us to enter 2017 having each other's backs. And it's not for the black community to, community to start saying, ah, oh, no, this is an Asian thing, this is an Arabic thing, it's not our fault. Uh-uh. Because there's a saying that goes, or a poem that goes, something about, I kept quiet when X was being persecuted. I kept quiet when um, Y was being persecuted. And so when it came to me, everyone else was quiet. I might be quoting that a bit wrong, but you know what I'm saying. I'll make sure there's a link to the poem that I'm trying to quote. So we all have to have each other's back. We have the resp- as as the uh, awoke the the woke regeneration. We have the responsibility to have a different discussion to have each other's backs, and that is my charge to you guys. Stop critiquing this guy, Adam, and stop trying to look at a way of blaming him for being him him being humiliated and kicked off the plane like that. Because if it was somebody else who was that looked like him, that wouldn't have happened.